All right, we're back on the Dodge again. Um, so what I got done since last being here was I got motor mounts in. Didn't think that was that big of an issue. They are slightly crooked, but. Um, now when I did it on my truck, I basically had to swap this bracket side to side because this, the hole in this bracket is offset and the hole had been up here uh, and it was not lining up to my cross member. Like I said, I don't know whether that's just due to things having been different in my truck, different years, whatnot, but anyway, uh, where we're at now, I went ahead and got my fan off, which was definitely a job. I actually ended up cutting it with a reciprocating saw and then I ended up half new grind down through the other piece which it was here somewhere to be able to get it off of here got a little gouge there but I don't think I did enough to hurt this water pump I think it'll be but uh, no, I tried everything um, I'd looped a uh, ratchet strap across it and tightened it up to the point I was afraid of starting to damage the water pump uh, I bent the fins back on the fan because I knew that was already needed to be replaced and uh, I just I beat and beat and beat and I know it's a left-handed thread and I just kept beating on it and it just was not coming loose it was completely frozen up and rusted on there got it off so where I'm at right now I just busted all these loose so, we're going to get going on this killer dowel pin. So, I'm going to take this one out, set it off to the side. I'm going to get you set up someplace here real close to me so you can hopefully see on here. And we'll come back and get that off. We'll be able to start to get this thing apart. All right, be right back. All right, so I'm going to try to keep you in here as close as possible. So, of course, we take these bolts out. Yeah. Believe. understand he's not pressed fit. He just stacks the twist up there. This guy. Yeah. Oh my god. Front of him's a little dirty it looks like. There we go. Uh, just or just flips on there basically. It's not all of our bolts. most of this. I, there's a bunch of dirt on the back of this cross member. With the engine wide open, I don't want that down in the engine, so I'm just trying to get some of it off. Alright, I think 
might be 10 millimeter. did not plan on pulling the water pump, but I'm going to have to because there's literally bolts behind the water pump. So, I have to have a pain in my butt, but it is what it is. Funny, so everybody hollers about their 10 millimeters to spring. I jerk over 10 millimeters. Mine's always the 916th. I'm always missing. Yeah. Probably should be doing not doing this with a quarter inch ratchet. But doesn't sound fun. I don't have that down there because hopefully there's not a bunch of water in there, but there could be. I don't really need to ground my tools anymore. Can you even see what I'm doing? Yeah, you can. Hopefully. That's kind of bad location. Yeah, the M2. Oh, 
I think this has got an internal water pump. Alright. I'm not completely familiar with these engines, but this is just a idler pulley. So no gas is required. I'm happy with that. that I don't have to worry about that now. Start. I still haven't put oil in this morning, so we shouldn't have any, hopefully, a much of a mess that way. Ah, back here. Before I pull that cover off, I think I'm going to try washing it off out here a little on the truck. Get them two loose. turn you back once I get to the end of the dowel in itself. But not that you're probably all that concerned about this. I don't know how this works. Let's see. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> That's not gonna work. I think we got a wrench. Those are about that tight. Alright, so I think I'm gonna shut you off. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Try to get it looking a little better, and I'll bring you back when I get ready to actually open that cover up. Alright, I got this somewhat cleaned up. all the bolts now and any that go through both this and the timing box I'm determining whether the long ones are all the same length or not and this one with the special stuff on I want to kind of leave it yeah, I think that's all of the long ones they are all the same length What I should do, let me go get a, I'll be right back. Alright, so basically what I'm doing, 
I'm just going around and marking L according to the bolts that are a little bit longer. And I'll put S key for that one for special. Put T for tab on this one. Those are SN for sensor. Alright. Just a way to kind of remind me where all the bolts have to go. I mean, the fact is, is you pretty much know because these, there's threads right immediately. There's not these, but I figure it never hurts to, a little bit extra to keep an eye on them. What I should do, pull it loose from that bolt. Duh. I'm kind of curious whether this has had the dowel pin. Thing done to it. So, you're going to find out right along with me. It has not. So. Alright. The dowel pin we're talking about is right there. And... There is definitely, now it has not migrated, but there's definitely nothing over that. So, we're gonna pull that bolt out. come out. Let me go get my So now the way this one works 
The way this one looks is they put the little peel up there to the point you cannot tear the package open. That's how this works. <laughs> they don't want you to put this thing in. There we go. So, let's get this little guy up. Well, this uses an ala head. So, basically, being you got that little raised area right there, this little guy. sits like that and that way this pin can't back up so I will go ahead and I grab a Allen head for that give me just a second I'll be right back all right so got some spray goobers here some gum out. I just want to. I just want to make sure that hole is nice and clean. Also, put this thing together. Lock tight. I want to make sure that lock tight has a clean surface to adhere to. Sorry about the neighbor's dog. Hey, Super tight. I don't know that we actually have to torque it to any specific specs. That should be good. Well, that's up there where that cannot go anywhere. But I have to worry about that. Then I were backing out, dropping down between my gear. That would be annoying. So, let me grab a clean ish. Clean this gasket surface. This engine, but it could plug a oil filter. So there we go. That's clean. I should make sure that it's good and clean.
there's our seal. Cool seal, so what I'm gonna do, I got to clean up the back of this pan, get this gasket off, get that all cleaned up, and I'll come back when I'm getting ready to drive that in. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this seal taken care of. So here's my seal driving area. Basically just catching the edge of the seal, the chisel, pushing them on down. Yep. Might have went a smidge too far. Make sure that looks like
just want to make sure that that seal is seated where it needs to be. It looks good. Actually, you can kind of cheat and push that ring down a little. As long as you got that in there and you get ready to install it, that should be good to go. Be back. All right, so we got our 5.9 cover sealed. Gasket. Rip this off. I'll try not to rip the gasket. one on dry. So what in the world is All right, so off camera I went ahead and I ended up using RVT. Wasn't exactly my initial plan, but it is all back together. I threw the belt back on there right now for just so I know how it's routed. Now I'll pick up another belt here shortly. Anyway, that is putting the uh, killer dowel pin cure in the 6BT. Uh, if you do this, make sure you, gas you got the right gaskets. Okay, uh, until next time. Bye.